Jamie remains a captive of House Stark. King Rob Stark keeps Jamie caged and chained to a post in his camp at all times to prevent Lord Tywin bribing or threatening one of his bannermen into giving him up. Jamie remains defiant, taunting and insulting Rob when he comes to confront him. King Stannis Baratheon has made Joffrey's parentage public, by sending letters to all the lords throughout the kingdom, exposing Jamie's incest with Cersei. Jamie counters that Stannis has a personal stake in these accusations, as if all of Cersei's children are Jamie's bastards that means Stannis is heir to the throne. However it is Jamie who is intimidated when Rob threatens him with his snarling direwolf Grey Wind. Months later, Jamie is joined in his cell by his distant cousin Alton Lannister. They talk about the time Alton served as Jamie's squire at a tourney, and Jamie tells him about his own experiences as squire of Sir Barristan Selmy. Drawing Alton closer, Jamie seizes the opportunity to escape. When he leans over to hear Jamie whisper about an escape plan, Jamie head butts him then strikes him in the head repeatedly cracking his skull. When the guard, Torin Karstark, is distracted by discovering Alton's body bloody and convulsing, Jamie strangles him to death and takes his keys to free himself from his chains. Jamie is soon recaptured. Lord Rickard Karstark demands Jamie's head for killing his son. Catelyn Stark convinces Rickard to wait until Rob returns but fears that his patience will not hold. Catelyn visits Jamie's cell with her female guard Brienne. She accuses Jamie of being a man without honor because of his broken vows. Jamie explains his view that his vows frequently conflicted with one another. He asserts that he has more honor than some. He reveals that Cersei is the only one he has slept with and reminds Catelyn how her husband cheated on her and fathered Jon Snow. Catelyn makes a deal with Jaime and releases him. She tasks Brienne of Tarth with escorting him to King's Landing to exchange him for her captive daughters. Brienne successfully smuggles him out of the camp on horseback and then they travel by rowboat to evade pursuit. Jaime needles her about her appearance and masculinity, unsuccessfully attempting to goad her into dueling him. He changes subject, focusing on her virginity and childhood. They find a trio of women, hanged for sleeping with Lannister soldiers. He mocks her service to House Stark and she asserts that she serves Lady Catelyn specifically. As Brienne goes to bury the bodies they are accosted by a trio of Stark soldiers. Brienne kills all three after they recognize Jaime, and he is impressed by her skill. He questions her readiness to kill Stark men and she reasserts her dedication to Catelyn and the task she set her.